Holy smokes, I feel like I just saw you. I know. Are you uh you were in the same clothes you were last time? Well it was it that was a week ago, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Tim Bray here with Robert Ruth. We're here to talk about TRID, episode two, reality check. The dirt about TRID. How's that for wordplay? I thought we were staying positive on this. Thing. That is. We're going to give all of the lowdown, all the dirt on TRID. Everything you need to know about TRID. All right, let's, let's, let's So in our intro, we talked about TRID, that it's basically to help the consumer understand the mortgage and that they know before they owe. Mm -hmm. And so. Everybody in the, in not everybody, but most people in my industry and most people in your industry are running around like chicken little saying, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's gonna it's gonna be it's terrible, gonna it's going to crush everybody, it's going to kill the business, yeah. it's going to be really hard. Nothing is farther from the truth. This is a very positive thing. Love your perspective. It, 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 it's only going to give more transparency into the business. I applaud the government for coming up with this. I think it's a great thing. I think it's one of the most positive things to help consumers understand the process of buying a house. Man, you are the only person I've spoken to in regard to TRID in the past 30 to 60 Probably days. Probably true. That has a positive outlook on what's happening. And well, well, I think, applaud you for it. Well, think about it because it's going to change the process in which we, we do our business. Mm -hmm. But and so so that's disruptive. That's going to make it a little bit more cumbersome. It might take longer. It might be hard to do at first. But as with anything else, you work your way through. So what's it. going to be hard about it? Well, I don't know. It's going to be hard. Let's be positive. Let's talk about what's changing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's think about. So the first thing you have is um, when you get a loan, a borrower takes out a mortgage loan or applies for a mortgage loan, and they used to get two disclosures. They had to be sent out within three days. Mm -hmm. One was called a good faith estimate of closing costs, mm -hmm. and one was called a truth in lending disclosure. Sure. And I used to, you know, you and I used to kind of jokingly call the truth in lending disclosure an oxymoron, mm -hmm. like jumbo shrimp or reasonable attorney's fees or something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the truth in lending disclosure was, was it's so obtuse the way it's written, you know, it would, it, the intention was to show the total amount of interest that the borrower pays over the life of the loan, the annual percentage rate, the interest portion of the payment, and if you have an adjustable rate mortgage, how the rates sure. and payments could change. All good. The problem was the disclosures are very obtuse. They're very hard for people to understand, mm -hmm. so people just tend to sign the documents and go on. Well, now they've combined those two into one disclosure. Uh, it's, it's multiple pages. It's not that hard to do, but it's going to be called the loan estimate. No more HUD-1? Well, no, we're not there yet. This oh. is the disclosure stuff gotcha, before gotcha. you get the HUD-1s at the closing. So this is when we start doing the application process. And most importantly with one of these changes is that we can't actually do the loan and proceed with the loan application until the borrower has reviewed these documents and, and agreed and signed off with them and given them what they call are their intent to proceed? How many days? Like what? What's it's the time it's, uh, it's all in the documents. It's all something that, that you know is is governed. They have to be given so many days to look at these mm -hmm. disclosures, and so it's a very positive change. It's okay. something that will only be good for people, especially when you think about this huge wave of millennial buyers who are coming. Sure, and they're coming. Oh, yeah. You know, they're they're saving their money, they're getting positioned, you know, they're 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 pent up, they want to buy a house, but but they wanna understand what they're buying. Sure. And they wanna understand, well, what are these fees? And you know, you know me, I explain everything to people. I sit Absolutely. down and point by point explain everything, and I'm at the closing table explaining everything. A lot of people don't do that. So for, so this will give the borrower's reference documents that will say, this is what this fee is, this is what this is, this is what this is. It's great. It's a much needed change. So don't get crazy over this change because the intention of the change is to make a better informed buyer, a better informed client, a better informed real estate transaction. It's better, it's positive all the way through. What I'm hearing is adapt and overcome. Exactly right. Thank you.